What a beautiful morning. Wow, I <laughs> love it. As I'm sitting here, it just remind me of, you know, all the stuff that happened for the past four, five years. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. <laughs> you know, five years ago was living in a house if you know a little bit of my past story with I share a couple of times with you know a man that that started taking drugs and alcohol and oh my god guys I was so miserable at that time didn't know myself, didn't know what to do I was trying to help him <laughs> I should have helped myself instead. I was so unhappy and I was giving myself excuses. You know, like I'm gonna be happy when, when I'm gonna have a house, when I'm gonna have a better job, when, when, when. And when he started taking drugs and alcohol, I was like hoping so much that he would stop so we could go back to our previous life but even that previous life was not I was not happy and I had to leave that guy if you've been close to someone thinking I call and drugs you know what it is uh, and I left him and when I was with him, I was, if you want, at this level. And when I left him, I was, I put everything in my car. I had nothing, I didn't even have a mattress, you know, my car was half empty. And I had to go down in order to go back up. And I put everything in my car, drove. I had a business at that time, a dog walker, dog trainer, and I didn't took any contract, any new clients for months because I was so miserable. So I left that job, that business, and took on my stuff, drove six hours to Squamish, and put everything in storage and started sleeping in my car. And at that time, if you know, I thought that would be just for a short period of time. Obviously, I was like probably around 34, 35. You don't think about like living one year in your car at that time. You know what I mean? It's not something that you want. And I was supposed to look for a place to rent. I couldn't afford a place by myself. And I didn't want roommates and all this. And I realized that my car was pretty great. Strangely, one of the time in my life that was the most happy in a sense is living in that car. I was at the lowest that I had never been. Sleeping in my car, working in a janitor, it's not a job that I wanted, but it's just I wanted just a job that I could not take. When you have a business, it's 24 hours and I just wanted a simple job. And I was not happy with that job, but I was happy in my life because I knew every day I was dreaming about a van and I was dreaming about my road trip that we'll end up doing with that van and just the fact of dreaming about that was making me so happy because for the first time I put my dream of traveling above everything you know and look who I am right now beautiful 
sunrise that never in my previous life I had time to watch the sunrise traveling full time with my cat come on sometime in life you have to go down to go back up been great but I must admit woo, it's cold <laughs> let's go back to the van <laughs> oh my god it's nice and warm here <laughs> the joy of having a heater can live on go for a little walk and come back and the van is warm I didn't have that when I was living in my car no yeah, you want to talk, Kenny? You like your heater? Yeah, oh yeah, it's nice, yeah. It's nice to go back inside the van and it's warm. Nothing better than a warm breakfast after a cold walk. <laughs> mm. So I didn't really expect to share all of this with you this morning. I don't know, probably the beautiful sunrise inspired me this. <laughs> um, if you are in this situation guys, I totally get you and I just I just want you to realize that something better is around the corner I didn't tell of that when all of this happened I couldn't see anything positive of all of this and now that I look at that time I realize that I should have probably done it way before that I should have not stay in a relationship that I didn't like then I didn't fulfill me that the person didn't treat me properly to be honest and now just look at my life traveling full-time beautiful place I have a lovely boyfriend who's coming to join me on my travel trip and a beautiful job that I it's not even a job it's just amazing I'm so so lucky but in the sense I choose my luck I decide to leave that person to take the lead it was scary I was worried I couldn't believe that I was sleeping in my car in the winter a job as a janitor at 35 years old but I knew that something better was around the corner but I didn't expect to be that beautiful to be honest with you all right guys I hope you enjoy and I hope that inspire you to follow your dream because that's what this channel is all about inspire you to follow your dream guys all right see you in next time oh you so far this morning <laughs> all right guys see you
will you to stop? It must be me. Alright guys, we are doing it! Oh, it's pretty cool inside! That's pretty long when you're doing inside. <laughs> That's cool. All right, to be honest, I thought when I came here, I was like, eh, nothing special. But it's pretty cool when you do it inside, I have to admit. <laughs> 